morning, fellow adventurers. We're back out for another uh, weekend hike. We are currently in Delaware at White Clay Creek State Park, the Possum Hill parking area. We're going to go in and do a uh, probably about a 10 mile loop practicing for the uh, Appalachian Trail section hike that we are going to be doing here in about a month. So, without further ado, we'll get right to it. Put some. Uh, I'm just filming. Change into some uh, warmer accessories here. It's a balmy 34 degrees right now here in uh, White Clay Creek State Park. We're, uh, we're going to do a couple smaller loops, put them all together, and hopefully get 10 miles in today. Just because uh, we haven't been hiking for a couple of months. Um, so next weekend, I'm definitely going, Brian's going to try and make it, but we're still unsure of that. Uh, I'm going to do a 23-mile section from Bears Den Hostel in Virginia up into Harper's Ferry. We're going to end it at the uh, ATC there. And I'm sort of working on connecting my... Shenandoah to Harper's Ferry section. That is, I have not finished that yet. So uh, hopefully the weather pans out for us next weekend and we'll get that part knocked out. And uh, that's actually practice for the next bigger hike, which will be in about a month, March 28th. I'm going to start at uh, Approach Trail down in. Uh, Georgia and head up into Springer Mountain and at that point I'm going to wait up for uh, Hillbilly and a couple of his buddies and we're going to do the AT up to uh, I forget what the town is Franklin, Franklin, North Carolina. And that's where we'll pull out. It's going to be about, about 117 miles with the approach trail. So it should be a good, good time that week. So this, uh, this hike is really going to get out and test out a couple of new items that I'm using. The uh, first one, obviously, is the camera that I'm shooting with right now. Uh, I left my good camera at home. Since I'm going to be on the Appalachian Trail, it's going to be a little wetter. So, I borrowed my son's Fuji XP90. So, got the sound muff on there. Hopefully, this is going to work out by right now when I get home. Uh, and I'm going to, I'm basically wearing the clothing that I'm going to wear down in Georgia, you know, because that's going to be a crapshoot on the weather. Springtime in Georgia could be nice, you know, 60 degrees. You could still have snowstorms come through there sometimes, so everything I got on is what I'm going to be wearing down there. See how it works out. I've only ever been 
White Clay Creek one time. Uh, my son and I did a, about a five mile loop. But there's a lot of trail systems up here. Most of them are shorter within, you know, between a uh, half mile to a couple miles long. But if you want to come out and spend the day, you can definitely get a nice long hiking day in. Not remote, not remote at all, but you can uh, get into areas back here in the hills that uh, makes you feel like you're out there. Yeah. Sounds of nature, huh? To go around, you want to take cut off. To go around. So we're on the Bryant's Field Trail right now, which is uh, on their map, it's the Blue Trail. And we're going to eventually hook back up with the parking area and get onto a uh, one of the yellow trails. Uh, I don't remember what the name was, we'll find out that later. But yeah, we're just uh, stretching our legs a little. As you all know, you know, Brian had the foot injury. Uh, that was persistent through our JMT attempt last August. And uh, he's been taking the, you know, the hike. He took it off. He took off from hiking for a while just to heal up. Plantar's fasciitis can really be painful. So he hasn't been doing much. This is his first time out. So hopefully everything goes well and uh, he can join me next weekend. And if that goes okay up on the uh, section hike in Virginia, then he'll be coming down to Georgia as well. And uh, all things considered, if everything continues to go well, we'll be back at the GMP in 2020. I'm actually kind of glad I didn't go this year. If you've been watching the news. The Sierras are getting dumped on right now. And, uh, you know, that could go either way. If that continues, it's going to be a very high snow year. Uh, which would make it difficult to get out there without, you know, snow post holing and stuff like that. Uh, again, that could change and, you know, the snow could taper off and it could be a, a normal to average snow year. Just have to see. But yeah, we, uh, we won't be on until 2020. I'm going to shoot for August again. For those of you that think the Delaware doesn't have any hiking, you're wrong. Definitely have uh, some pretty decent trail systems out here. Right now, this doesn't look that good because it's uh, no vegetation on the trees, but uh, we do have our we do have our trails. Yep. Uh, Delaware's got three counties. Northern County is the one with the most uh, trails with hills, etc. White Clay Creek, Brandywine State Park, and then just west of here, about three or four miles, you have the Fair Hill Natural Resource Area, which is actually in Maryland, just across the state line. Uh, been out there a few times, and that's a nice area too. They have over 100 miles of trail. All kinds of varying degrees and spring and summer is very beautiful because the, the hilltops out there are like balds that you see on the Appalachian Trail. It's gorgeous. But yeah, if you're in the uh, Delaware or uh, Maryland, Pennsylvania area and you're watching this, come check out the Fair Hill and the, uh, the White Clay Creek area. It won't let you down.
So a lot of these trail systems up here at White Clay and some of the other areas are shared trails between hikers, mountain bikers, and uh, even horses ride up here. This is a turn off here for uh, one of the mountain bike skills trail. But we're not going to go that way. We're going to keep going straight here and should connect back up with the parking area that we started at and we'll head off into a different loop. Alright, we are back at the uh, cutoff here back to the parking lot. When we came in, that's the direction we took. And the blue loop comes back this direction. And we're making a left here. About half a mile to the parking lot. can see it has been pretty muddy out here today. We just came off the back end of a couple of snowstorms and uh, up here in northern Delaware they had a lot more than we had down south. Uh, still, still some spots you can see where shaded areas aren't melted off yet but these field areas and the woods are just really a muck. But hey, embrace the suck what it's all about in hiking. I had to lose a few pieces of clothing. My Under Armour beanie is great. It's very warm, but uh, once you get going for a while, you know, tend to get overheated, so I took it off. And I just put my buff up on my head. Uh, you know, hiking, heat management really important that's why it's important to wear layers so you can adjust as needed so I like my buff too it's one of those nice uh, areas springtime and summer it gets really pretty up here I had to switch over to my iPhone. Uh, the camera battery on the uh, camera I was testing out ran out. But uh, I believe that's the original battery from that camera and it's uh, a few years old. I've got some new ones already purchased. So we'll have to gauge that as we go. So maybe I will be taking my uh, good camera. We'll see. But right now we finished up the uh, first loop on the, the blue trail and uh, we're on the uh, Chestnut Hill area now and we're going to merge up with a connector uh, that goes north into the next area. Check in a little bit later. Gotta admit, this is a pretty cool area back here. Yeah. Big bowl.
say we're about probably six miles into it, between five and six. We're going to head back to the uh, parking lot, have some lunch, and uh, a short drive to another part of the park. Pick up another loop. But so far, so good. It's really pretty out here today. Great day for hiking. I'd say it's probably still in the 30s. Maybe upper 30s by this point, but it's still cold. Wide open spaces up here right now. at the uh, Possum Hill parking area again and uh, we decided to go ahead and instead of sitting here with our stoves and cooking our lunch we're uh, really kind of craving a burger or something so we had about 6.3 miles done which ain't bad for a, a day hike just you know getting things warmed up again so we're not gonna do the 10 miles but uh, we're gonna head to the restaurant and probably hit REI for some gear that's always good but uh, thanks for sticking with us again on Backcountry Adventures, and we'll see you next time.